Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In the earlier sessions, we saw some projects, and we saw how we can create C pipeline using GitLab. But now in this session, we are going to see one of the branching strategies in Git. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So in this method, we are having development system, and we have a test branch, a quality branch, and a production branch. And at the same time, we have test server, QA, and production systems. Now let's assume that our production system is going to used, and users are our clients. So before deploying any code onto the production, we need to make sure that the code is working. So for that we are going to take an advantage of the test and QA branches. Now let's assume that I am developing one application, and some piece of code is ready and I have tested that on my local system, nothing but on my laptop, and it is working fine. But I don't have any confidence or guarantee that it is going to work on production as well. If it is the case, then it doesn't make sense to push our code onto production branch directly, and get deployed to the production system. Here we can push our code onto test branch first, and whatever code we got over here, we can build and deploy it on the test system. Now if this code is not working on the test system, no problem. This system is only for the testing purpose. If this code is not working, then I can understand that where are the bugs, and I can fix those bugs. Again I can push that code onto the test branch. Now we have deployed this code as well, but this also not working. Again we are going to enhance the code, and push that code onto the test branch. Now whatever code we have pushed we have deployed it. But this code is working fine, which means that, whatever feature I thought to enable, those features are working fine in this application, which is running on test system. Now I will name it as version 1, cause this is working good, and I can use in the quality and production system. But if I want to deploy on quality system, the code should be available on quality branch. Similar way if I want to deploy it on production system, then it should be available on production branch. Now I can pull this code onto the QA branch. And from here I am going to deploy onto the QA system. This is just to make sure that this version code is working fine once again. So even if it is working fine on QA system, then we move on to the production system. But meantime, developers are still continued to enhance the code. Why? Because they want to introduce few more features. So they have done one more update to the code. But this code is not working then one more update and this also is not working. Meantime in the back end, we can still use the version 1. So I can deploy the version 1 as a release 1 on my production system. Now production system is running with the release 1 which has limited features. Developers are still continued to enhance the code to come up with the new features. Whenever they find that all new features are introduced and working fine, they will name it as a new version or v2 and still continued to work to release the new feature. So now V2 and V3 is there, but our QA and production system are still at V1. Now we can take the version 2 to deploy it on the quality system. Now our application has been updated on the quality system from the version 1 to version 2. And version 2 I don't want to deploy, because those services may not be helpful for our customer much. Then I can wait for the next version which they come up with new features. Like this developers are continues to enhance the application. And this workflow nothing but taking the code from test branch to quality system. Then from quality to production. This process still continued. Here branch names may change. But the strategy is same. Maybe instead of three branches we can use two branches or we can use four branches. So guys this is one of the branching strategy. I hope you all guys are clear with this strategy. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.